How you feeling? You're not doing too good. You no? know? The struggle is real for Derek. The struggle is real. It's a different struggle. Normally it's Justin pissing him off struggle, but it is a different struggle. Yeah, I call Bob Lofton. I need my words soul. of wisdom from Mr. Lofton to this morning. That's a telltale sign when I tell everybody that I'm riding with Justin. And they said, it's been, it's been nice knowing you. So I think that's, uh, that's interesting. But I rode with them uh, at qualifying at SEMA last year. That was fun. Ridden with them on a bunch of truck trips. I think I'm, I'm more scared riding with them in a Raptor than in the, in the trophy truck, I think. It's capability to be on the Raptor. Uh, all right, Thursday morning. We got a qualifying lined up. We got the trophy truck, trick truck, and uh, Derek over there in the class 1500. So we got some excitement going on today. UTV race tonight. It'll be a beautiful day in the desert and uh, looking forward to going out and getting that number one spot for uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, I bought that on our, um, the Nevada Adventure Tour two years ago. And then, then we stuck it up for Vegas Torino and then we, you know, we qualified in the back and drove through. It didn't open. Well, we finished good. I mean, we could win, but yeah, we can open it this weekend. I think we should open it. And then if you dig it, that's going to be the new ritual. It's open a can of whoop ass every race. Can you buy those in bulk? <laughs> Big debut in the class one. I got two vehicles qualified, uh, trick truck, 1500 car, myself was not aggressive enough. Um, truck handled better than expected and uh, just kind of one of those things, but look for a decent uh, starting position and we got two days of battle, Saturday and Sunday, so whatever we didn't get done today, we can do on Saturday and if we don't get done Saturday, we can get it done on Sunday. It was awesome, we went pretty fast I think. Uh, I know Justin isn't super excited, but I thought we did pretty good. Uh, we'll see how we end up, I guess, at 1 o'clock, but smooth, pretty fast. I know there's a little bit of, uh, he was struggling with the shifter a little bit. So we'll see if they can straighten that out. Uh, get us ready for the race. I'm not quite ready. I'm low on color. Oh, we got a little, do a little 
hamburguesas. We've got some chips and salsa and guacamole for this afternoon. We've got some fine fruit from a local store here in Laughlin. And uh, just prepping, just getting everything ready for lunch, and then we'll start on dinner automatically. Is that one of the briskets or is that the room plate? Good, you know, it's a good day. Are you still hey guys, we're here uh, getting ready for a Friday night team dinner. Todd here is trimming up uh, some tri-tips. Uh, basically, these were untrimmed, so you can kind of do your own, say, custom fabrication, custom cutting. But Todd's been, uh, he's our nutritionist. He's been taking care of us for quite a few years now. Um, it's really cool about off-road racing and, you know, family sport, whether they're friends that become family, family that become friends, or enemies that become friends, whatever you want to call it. So we're, uh, we're going to feed some people tonight and uh, we're the beef team. Yeah, break over here. <laughs> Beef. <laughs> All right, we just finished up dinner. Uh, crew guys cooked up some amazing uh, tri-tips. And uh, that's one thing we like to do here. We like to eat. We like to eat really well. So anyways, we uh, getting ready for tomorrow. Looking, you know, we got a couple positions we got to make up and, uh, you know, get to the top spot. But of course, it's going to be fast, going to be fun. And uh, we'll do what we can to keep the truck alive. So make sure to tune into the next episode, see what happens.